the Electoral Act, which guides the uh, activities of INEC, so that it will be in line with what is expected of from us or what the general public or Nigerian public is expecting. So I, 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 I don't know what you are saying about INEX problem. We don't have, pro I don't have problem with INEC or the way they are doing. They are just doing their job. Sir, 2019 election. 20 election. Yes. Our opinion? Your opinion on the game plan for well, you see, um, you know, I'm one of the, what you call even the Buharis, those that believe in the president. And we are very hopeful that um, we win the 2019, President Mohamed Buhari will win the 2019 election, inshallah. We are banking on three zones, northeast, northwest, southwest, and those ones, um, South South will get what we can get there. South East will get what we can get there. But I assure you that now that the candidate of PDP is known, our candidate is known, Nigerians know the, them, they know their personality, they know their credibility, they know their integrity. So Nigerians know that it's PDP against APC. It's a PDP that is responsible for the problems that Nigeria finds itself now. For 16 years, they have concentrated on destroying and stealing Nigeria. Now they want to go back. Nigerians are aware, and even PDP is aware. That's why they came out and apologized to Nigerians. But they didn't return our money. So when you apologize to somebody that you stole his property, and you say, okay, give me the house again to manage Unless that person is crazy, he will not give it to you again no, until you bring that one that you have stolen before. When the government is trying to collect that one that they have stolen, Nigerians know that. Nigerians, especially the Nigerian masses, are behind this government because they know that this is their government. And those few elites that went and gathered themselves in PDP, uh, it's just like the Awolo said before he died, that the progressives will mix with some... Fox and uh, people, uh, they call themselves politicians. And after some time, these people will leave the progressives and gather in one place. I don't know how he predicted that. And that is what happened. All of them went to PDP now. Twelve of them contested for the presidency. One of them came out. And uh, we have not started talking yet because it's not uh, campaign time. But when the time comes, we will remind Nigerians of what they think uh, they have forgotten. And we'll speak on facts. And this campaign is going to be a serious one. It's going to be based on issues. We're not uh, calling somebody lifeless or not calling people by names. So they keep on insulting our candidates. We'll talk about them. We'll talk about what they are, who they are, what they have stolen. And they will put it on the pages. We'll put it before Nigerians. So this campaign that is coming is not going to be that of lies, that of propaganda. Uh, because... It's going to be based on facts, on issues. We have started just three years. What they destroyed in 16 years cannot be built in four years. If Nigeria is to be built again based on the destruction, it's going to take so many years. But we have started, and the president has started laying solid foundation by addressing the three key areas, security, infrastructure, and fight against corruption. It is corruption that is fighting back. And it is corruption that is trying to win election. By God's grace, corruption will not win that election. Thank you.